Howdy folks, welcome to the Back to the Basics 101. If you don't have a bale bed and you're ranching, you need to get one. I'm telling you, this will be able to get you to get your cows on parts of the prairie that you just never have been able to get to before. No one wants to bounce around in any kind of tractor. I don't care if you're on an old M Farmall or a brand new tractor. They're bouncy and they're expensive to run. An old pickup is fairly cheap to run compared to a to a tractor. On this old 79 Ford pickup, we have this old bale bed, which is a Model T, uh, Model T, Model T of the bale beds. It's one of the first ones they came up with. This is a North Dakota made bed, and I don't even know the name of it anymore. Yeah, it's on the back still, I think. But anyways, this really revolutionized everything. And really, we really only use a tractor for for this stuff white stuff snow that's not dandrift and i'll tell you it really is a must on a ranch now i know it's not the right application for every ranch but it sure makes it handy Pickup's going somewhere good. That's called auto steer, folks. Yeah, I'm not heading for any creeks or rivers. Her name is One Horn. Oh, come on, girl, don't go down anywhere bad. Okay, we're gonna have to steer a little better here. Okay, girl, up this way. Stay out of the ravines. There's about a hundred head in here. I fed up over on that hill too where the old farmstead was. I'll give you a little rundown of my feed pickup and the things I keep in my feed pickup. But that's my handyman jack, of course, put on by hand by uh, horseshoes, held on by horseshoes. That handyman jack pretty much goes everywhere I go. That's called a bale bed there. And all hydraulically run. If you've watched the show very long, you know. You know what that uh, that is. You also know what this is. This is cow cake. If you look at their stool, by the way, you can see it's a little clumpy. And that's not good. That means they're they're getting they're not getting enough protein. So I need to start feeding a little more protein. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's see how it's piling up. You don't want it clumpy. You kind of want it into a, a patty, if you will. This here is where we keep our hydraulics. I always keep a little hydraulic fluid in there. And uh, this is the pump that runs the hydraulics on the, the bale bed. 
I always keep a post pounder in there somewheres. The shovel I repaired with a Montana license plate. Uh, I always keep a piece of rope. That's uh, that's actually a lasso piece of rope. Tie a corral or something, gate with that. Your handyman jack. A friend of mine came over and built me a, a pretty heavy duty cow bumper, something to push a little bit. And then uh, of course I got a Ford Mustang emblem on there. I'll show you what I got under the hood here. With the hydraulic bed, it's electric over hydraulic. So I always keep a very big battery in there. And here we have a, uh, a little toolbox. I always keep a strapped in uh, jumper cables. Of course, I got a jack. And then I always keep this in here as well. This is uh, never, it's always pretty handy to have a grease gun on hand. On this side of the pickup, we have a toolbox that uh, came with the pick and roll. And as you can see, just a couple bungee straps, an old feed bag, my homemade lubrication I use all the time, which is diesel fuel and motor oil, magnetic light, a little oil. Let's see here. Hammer, fence and plier, tool, uh, tire kit, wire brush, a couple varieties of different hammers, uh, magnetic trays, I use magnetic trays all the time. Looks like I was trimming some horses hooves in here for hooves. Uh, I always keep a little uh, self-made container that uh, nuts, bolts, doodads, things in my jigs. I always keep all that stuff neatly in there. This is my toolbox, uh, John Deere, case makes them all well there's the type of pick and roll it was one of the first of the breed of pick and rolls made in North Dakota Hebrew North Dakota um, if you don't aren't familiar with these toolboxes they are so handy you can pull this tray out let's see you're doing this with one hand pull that pin and this toolbox will come off in your hand and very very handy Ford Always nice doors on a Ford. Let's shut this off so you can hear me. Things a cowboy needs in his pickup is a phone charger. <laughs> you always are calling for help, it seems like. I always keep a little tray here handy. Um, it'll keep all your little doodads and stuff like that in there. And you always have that on hand. Of course, you always need a rifle. A good dome light that works all the time. You want that. This is for your hat. A brimmed hat. It'll always keep it in place. And a lot of times I store stuff in that hat. A good seat. You're going to need one. Uh, this one here has been refurbished. Good old seat. This is a 79 Ford. Let's see here. Like I said I'm doing all this single handed. I keep a wood box in the back of my pickup probably need that keep a fire extinguisher extra alternator starter uh, fencing uh, stretcher for repairs clean your pickup I always keep a whisk broom in here some horse treats ear protection oh I keep way too much stuff in here looks like I'm gonna have to clean this out soon anyways uh, working cattle paddle back there um, of course i always have my lariat um, old boots work excellent for uh, storing pens and whatnot i don't know if you can see that i'll go to the other side and i'll show you that um, pieces of just little pipe works good for like a moving stick moving cattle etc i think that pretty much covers it looks like i have two pairs of jumpers in here Oh, I always keep some TP in a bag back here. You never know when you're going to, when nature calls. Yeah, it looks like I need to clean this out a little bit. I always keep these old feed bags for trash, etc. If I'm cleaning a ditch real quick or something, somebody lost something on the way.
This here I, I never really utilized, um, but I, I like keeping a tape measure around, and that tape measure is always permanently right there on the lady's side of the pickup. Actually, my wife's a better driver than me. In the winter time, I always keep a pair of insulated gloves. I always keep a pair of fencing gloves as well. Those are uh, the best fencing gloves in the country. You can, those are real, real deal. Um, I just haven't taken these out yet. When you're fencing, sometimes it's nice to wear those. There are time for it. Or if you're in brush country riding horse and you need uh, uh, dodge branches or brush, buck brush, um, those there have sure saved me a lot of headache. Trash bag. Keep a set of tire chains. I think I got four in this pickup. Uh, and uh, a good chain just in case you need to get pulled out. That's a long work. Actually, it's too long. Here's an old piece of cedar fence post. I just cut down quick. Uh, I think I might use a hatchet or I don't know what I used on that. For the Russian Mozant, my rifle. Get low on ammunition there. Um, this is kind of a holistic fix on my glove box. You used to have to push this and pull right here. And it worked, but this works way better. And just a piece of uh, deer antler I found. Luckily, I didn't find it in my uh, tire. This so will give you a flat tire. Back in the day, glove box uh, wasn't much good for anything other than gloves, which I should probably put my fencing gloves in there. Keep a flashlight in there at all times, of course. I have a what I call my factory Ford... Um, binoculars always keep those hand this is for my controls it's just attached to the hydraulics in the back and if I want to move my bale bed down to pick up a bale you can hear it run open it up close it etc handiest invention in the ranching community is a bale bed now Ford has been called a northern pickup for a long time. The heater works great and you want a good heater in northern country. Now down south I imagine you want a good air conditioner. This pickup uh, never came with an air conditioner, kind of a, it's a Ford Ranger F250 and it didn't come with an AC unit but uh, as old as it is it probably wouldn't work anyways. But a good air uh, heater is vital. In the winter time, you close off the grill with like an old feed bag or something, and it keeps the engine compartment just a little bit warmer. Uh, quite a bit warmer, actually. It makes a huge difference. Now, these mirrors, you can purchase them at Walmart, and they're phenomenally awesome. It's a curved mirror, and it's way bigger than your original mirror, even in modern vehicles. Good cattleman always tries to keep a good set of tires on his pickup. If you don't have good tires, you're in big trouble. Just the way it is. Good hardcore tires. Not too hard in the winter time because you will slip and slide. So you don't want it too hard and you don't want it too soft. Otherwise in the summertime, you're gonna get yourself in a load of stuck. Now, on your visor, I always keep one of these big clips. And the reason for it is, is I can keep my registration, all of that in there as well. think so there's so many advantages to a bale bed that uh, ouch how's my finger I think we can just strap it down once maybe be good to go so we had to get this tractor out of the 
uh, rented pasture. I'm gonna be moving cows off of it. And uh, get out of here. And uh, so let's see here, before my camera freezes up, just use the bale bed as my winch, because it back and forth, obviously. And we just chained it up and pulled it on.